Hi everybody, my name is Hillary. I'm with Unbound Medicine and today I'm going to introduce you to Nursing Central. Nursing Central is a collection of resources and tools that can be downloaded to mobile devices and used on the web. It'll provide you with all of the necessary tools to answer questions in the classroom, lab, and clinical settings. Once downloaded to your phone or tablet, you won't need an internet connection. This short tutorial offers a brief introduction to what's inside of Nursing Central as well as how to use it in a clinical scenario. So let's begin. To begin, open up your Nursing Central app. Today I'm demonstrating on an iPad, but remember that this can also be downloaded to iPhones and Android phones and tablets. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you three items. The first is an overview of Nursing Central's resources and tools. The second is how to use Nursing Central in a clinical scenario. And finally, the companion website. The first thing to know is that support is available Monday through Friday from 9 to 5. You can call, email, or chat. While well, you'll learn a lot today about our tools and resources, we also have a learning center where there are additional training videos, as well as a checklist that will help you get to know Nursing Central, and also wellness resources. Across the top of the screen, you'll notice several icons. Some are for resources, others are tools. We're going to learn about each of them. First, we'll focus on the resources. Davis's Drug Guide has more than 5,000 drug entries. It's regularly updated, which ensures you always have the latest drug information. Davis's Drug Guide has been a top resource for over 30 years. While many students tend to default to search engines like Google for answers, students and faculty have told us that the answers in Nursing Central are easier to find and more reliable. We're going to do a quick search for warfarin. Here you can see this is a high alert medication. There's a pronunciation, full color photos, and vital drug information. Need to make a dosage calculation? The calculator icon will take you right to integrated calculators. Tabers is your medical dictionary. As you learn a lot of new terminology, this is where you'll find definitions for all those new words. This resource has illustrations. Illustrations are great not only for personal knowledge, but for patient teaching as well. There are videos and also helpful information in the appendices like the ever popular medical abbreviations. Diseases and Disorders gives you information on more than 240 diseases and disorders, and it explains the scientific basis for nursing care. Davis's lab and diagnostic tests helps you understand and interpret the normal and abnormal results. Nurse's Pocket Guide helps you make accurate nursing diagnoses and to develop effective care plans. It includes bolded rationales, NANDA approved definitions, related factors, defining characteristics, prioritized actions, interventions, and more. RN Notes is often referred to as the Nurse's Clinical Survival Guide. It's practical, quick find information on things like lab values, OD antidotes, CPR techniques, insulin regimens, and much more. RN Notes has an emphasis on symptom and patient presentation rather than medical diagnosis. It includes charts and images, acronym abbreviation pop-ups, and NCLEX badges denoting important exam areas of knowledge. Lastly, your school has also ordered NCLEX RN Quest. 
NCLEX RN Quest is another great study tool from Unbound Medicine. Like all resources in Nursing Central, no internet connection is necessary, so students can study on the go. Research shows that NCLEX practice results in better outcomes. These other icons are for tools. Integrated calculators can help to double check clinical conversion, dosage, and IV rates. Prime PubMed Search gives you access to the full PubMed database. You can keep track of nursing journals and find the articles you need for research papers in Prime Journals. And GRASP, our mobile study card system, allows you to build, study, and share flashcards. Again, the Learning Center includes valuable tutorials and additional information on how to use GRASP. You'll find favoriting and bookmarking features on your home screen. On the iPad, they're in the lower left-hand corner. Favorites is a way to save and organize important records. And Notes allows you to create custom notes and highlights. I'll show you how to use these and other tools while we go through the case study. As a reminder, for more information, you can find our videos in the Learning Center. Now I'm going to walk you through a clinical scenario. In school, you'll be reviewing case studies or working with patients, and you may be asked to create care plans. I'll show you how Nursing Central can help. In our case study, we have a 36-year-old female, recently returned to work 10 weeks after giving birth. We have her blood pressure, heart rate, cholesterol, additional information. Let's do a search for blood pressure. Starting in Tabers and using the Jump To menu, we can search for blood pressure right in this resource. Here we can begin to gather information about blood pressure, including what constitutes normal blood pressure and where our patient might fall. As we read further, we find out that our patient with a blood pressure of 141 over 92 may have stage 1 hypertension. We want to save this information for later. This will help us fill out our care plan. By highlighting this information and choosing note, we're taken to a yellow sticky. We've provided you with a few colors so that you can organize your notes. For our purposes, we'll write test, save it, and now that note is highlighted for you. But if you go to the home screen, that note is also on the home screen. Tapping that note takes you right back to your original entry. Now we want to continue collecting information that might help our patient. By using the universal search bar, we can search across all resources. We'll choose diseases and disorders. Here we'll continue to gather information as we read through the causes. As we read, we come across a word that we're not familiar with. By highlighting that word, an option for glimpse appears in the black bar on top. By choosing glimpse, we're taken right to Tabor's, the definition in Tabor's Medical Dictionary, including a pronunciation. If you're searching for the name of a drug within a resource, glimpse will take you to Davis's Drug Guide. Before moving on, we're going to tap the star at the bottom of the screen to save this information. This is called favoriting. We'll get to this later. Let's say we now want to find drugs associated with hypertension. By choosing cross links, the two stacked arrows at the bottom of my screen, I'm taken right away to associated information. For our purposes, we'll choose the first drug. And again, we're taken right away to Davis's Drug Guide. We'll favorite this too. By using the back button, I'm taken right back to diseases and disorders. 
Lastly, let's look for any associated labs or tests. Once again, using crosslinks, we can find all of the associated labs and tests. And we're taken right to Davis's lab and diagnostic tests. We'll save this information too. For additional information on hypertension and to help us fill out our care plan, let's move to Nurse's Pocket Guide. And here we'll choose risk prone health behavior. We can find the nursing priorities. Finally, for additional information on hypertension, we'll go to RN notes. Here we have clinical findings, pop up definitions and a collaborative management checklist. Now we've walked through the elements of caring for our patient. We've checked out the causes of the disease, looked into any labs or tests, and looked for associated drugs. In addition, we looked for care planning information in Nurse's Pocket Guide and additional patient management information in RN notes. All of the information we favorited is waiting for us on the home screen, as well as our note. Let's take a closer look at NCLEX RN Quest. In NCLEX RN Quest, questions are organized by client needs areas as defined by NCSBN, curriculum specific questions in pharmacology, assessment, anatomy and physiology, etc and cognitive level questions. This allows you to select a focus of study. Let's take a look at a quick quiz. A quick quiz asks you to answer questions. You can pause your quiz at any time to see your progress and review any answers. Integration with Nursing Central means that additional information may be provided by crosslinks. A quick study works like a practice test where you see rationales to your answers immediately after answering each question. In addition, hints are available as well as crosslinks. You can also access Glimpse. The questions in NCLEX RN Quest are drawn randomly from the database. You can set goals, review missed questions, and use it anywhere. No internet connection is needed. Let's briefly take a look at the web. As I said at the beginning, you have access to all of this on the web, which is linked to your mobile devices. Anything you do on your mobile device will be saved on the web and vice versa. Here's the home screen. The icons are the same. Favorites is located on the top taskbar and also to the right of the screen. You'll notice that all of our favorites have been saved from the app and they're waiting for you here on the web. The notes are seamlessly saved as well. Let's search for hypertension again. Again, the results pulled from all of your available resources. When we choose our topic, our sections menu is already open to the left. Crosslinks is already open to the right. At the top, there are options to share, Search, make a grasp card, cite your source, print, favorite, 
and tag your favorites. Tagging is a way to further organize your favorites and a video on that can be found in the Learning Center. And one last reminder about our mobile flashcards. You can find out how to make flashcards in our Learning Center. And that's the web version. All of your information stays in your account and it's just as easy to navigate. If you have any questions or suggestions or need any help with the app, contact our support team. You can find their contact information inside of the application or on our website.